Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Laravel e-commerce UPS shipping plugin. Now this particular plugin allows the store owner to provide United Parcel Service shipping method to the store customers for shipping the products. The customers will be able to choose the shipping method and the time of checkout for receiving their products via United Parcel Service shipping. During the checkout, the customers can view various UPS shipping options with real-time freight charges. Now, using this particular plugin, the admin can enable or disable the UPS shipping method. UPS shipping method name can be set by the admin, which is displayed to the customers at the checkout time. The admin can define the allowed methods and the weight units uh, there. And the plugin provides dynamic shipping method for freight calculation. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of the customers and how the customers would be able to select the UPS uh, shipping methods at the checkout time for receiving their parcels. The initial configuration settings in the admin backend panel after the successful installation of this particular plugin and the uh, way the admin would be able to set up the store origin there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now I'm at the uh, store front end as you can see and here I'll be adding one product into the cart. So I'll be showing you the workflow at the customer's end. So here you can see that I'm already logged into the customer account there, that's the Peter Doe. So what I'll do is I'll add one product into the cart by tapping here on the add to cart button. The product has been added into the cart, that's $400. Let's tap on the checkout button thereafter. Now at the checkout time, you'll be able to uh, enter the details of your address or if you have already saved any address, you can select that address as well. So right now you can see that the subtotal is $100 and uh, there's no shipping charges yet applicable there because we have not entered any uh, details here. So I'll just go ahead and I'll be entering a few details here uh, for the customer like Peter Doe, his email address, his telephone number. And uh, after that, you'll be able to see that we'll be able to see the UPS shipping method names being displayed here. Uh, below this particular section so here we have after entering the address details here for the billing address here you can see that now we have the select shipping method option and here you can see that here we have the ups shipping that's the uh, shipping method name that we have set up in the admin backend panel and these are the method names three day select next day early am ups ground next day air sa uh, saver next day air second day air so these are the shipping method names uh, that are being provided by the United Parcel Services. And uh, now the customer, what the customer needs to do is he needs to select a particular one. And after selecting that up, uh, he'll be able to select his payment method. Now here you can see that the delivery charges have been added. That's for $26.80. I'll be choosing my payment method as cash and delivery. I'll scroll down the billing address and the shipping address are of uh, California, Los Angeles there. Uh, United States basically and here you can see that here we have the payment method as cash on delivery and the shipping method as the uh, United Parcel Service method name that's the three day select for $26.80 uh, three day select for $26.80 now after that here as well you can see that the grand total is $126.80 and now the customer can tap here on the place order button to place the order now after the order has been placed, the customer can view the order history and can view the particular shipping method that he had selected for his particular order there. So the order has been placed. Now if I want, I can go to my profile section or directly go to the orders from there and orders. Here's the order number second that I had placed. I'll tap here on the view button on the actions column. Here you can see the shipping and handling is $426.80. The grand total is $126.80. And the total due amount is $126.80. And here you can see the shipping method is uh, UPS shipping. And uh, we have chosen a method name for the United Parcel Service as three days select itself for the customer there. So this was the customer's workflow. Now let's hop on to the admin backend panel of the Bugisto and let's log into the Bugisto backend panel by entering the email address, password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. 
Now after the successful installation of this particular plugin, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to go to configure section here on the bottom left hand corner and we need to set the store origin. To do so, we'll go to settings and then sales. Under sales, the very first option under shipping is the origin. Here I've set the origin as United States, the state is California, city is California, uh, the street address has been set and the zip code has been set as 9001 as you can see. And thereafter I've tapped here on the save button. Now after that, if I go to the shipping methods, here I'll find the uh, UPS shipping method being displayed. So here's the UPS shipping method uh, as you can see. Now here you can see that uh, the very first thing is the title. So this is the title that we had set up and was visible to the customers at the checkout time as well as within the details here, UPS shipping. And uh, here we have the description of the UPS shipping itself. Then we have set the status of the UPS shipping as enabled. If you want, you can uh, enable to calculate the tax as well if uh, wanted. So for now, I've kept it as disabled. Then you'll get your credentials from the UPS service itself after you're registered at the UPS as a merchant, you'll receive your access license key, user ID, password, and now those access license key, user ID, and the password need to be entered. If there's any shipper number, that shipper number needs to be entered as well. Then you can choose the container type as package, UPS letter, UPS tube, UPS pack, or UPS express box as per your own requirement there. Then you need to choose the destination type as whether it's a residential or a commercial one. Then we have the weight units. You can choose between LBS and KGS or KGS or LBS as per your own requirement there. And then we have the allowed services. So here you can select the allowed services that would be visible to the customers at the checkout time after they have entered their address, uh, billing address there. Uh, when the shipping methods are displayed or the services are being displayed there, these selected services would be available there. So here you can see that we have the next day air saver, next day air, uh, UPS ground, UPS uh, worldwide expedite, uh, UPS worldwide saver, and much more. Now let's scroll down. Uh, you can also show the error message on the shop if the uh, particular shipping method is not uh, available then you need to enable this option and then you need to enter the error message that would be displayed to the customers at the checkout time or uh, that the shipping method is not available. You can set to contact any of the email addresses can be set for the same. And thereafter you need to tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings. So this was how we can set up the uh, sh uh, origin under the shipping section here. Uh, under the shipping origin and under the shipping methods we need uh, to configure the particular shipping methods that's the UPS shipping method by entering the details here and that's it now let's go to the sales section under the sales section i'll be able to see as an admin i'll be able to see my orders i can view the particular order for example this one order number two i can scroll down i can go to the shipping information section and i can see the shipping price is 26 dollars and eight zero cents I can also see that the UPS shipping three days select uh, service has been selected by the customer for uh, getting the shipment delivered to his uh, doorstep there. So if I want, I can generate the invoice from here by tapping on the invoice. And uh, here I can generate the invoice by tapping on the save invoice button. As soon as the invoice has been generated, we can view the invoice as well. So the invoice has been created successfully for the particular order. If I go to invoices, now you can see that the invoice has been generated and the status is paid right now. Uh, then under the shipments, you can see that uh, none of the shipments have been created to create a shipment. I can tap here on the ship button. Then we'll be taken to the create shipment section. Here I'll scroll down. I can enter the uh, carrier title and the tracking number for the UPS shipping. Uh, I can set it as uh, UPS shipping service I get into the tracking number here I can select the source here then I need to tap here on the save shipment after tapping on the save shipment the shipment would be created and the shipment would be generated and can be viewed by the admin thereafter so you can see that the shipment has been created successfully now if I go to the shipments here is the shipment uh, uh, shipment date 
the carrier title, the tracking number. If I want, I can view the shipment as well by tapping on the view icon there. I can scroll down and here we have the shipping information that uh, states the shipping method name, UPS shipping, the service name, three days select, shipping price $26.80, the inventory source as default, the carrier title as UPS shipping service and the tracking number as required by the admin there. So yes, that was much about the United Parcel Service uh, shipping plugin or the Laravel e-commerce UPS shipping plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of bugisto.com or you can raise a ticket at bugisto.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then you can uh, give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.